What is going on you guys? In today's video, we're going to be comparing two of the most commonly found seed starting mixes at your big box stores. And I'm gonna share with you guys, in my opinion, which one of these you guys should be using for your seed starts. Guys, let's get right into it. Nick here again with the Bravo 6 Gardener YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys end up liking this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you wanna see more how-tos, tips, and tutorials on gardening, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, make sure you guys stay tuned till the end of this video. I'm gonna share with you guys a bonus tip that I think you guys will really like that will really help out your seed starts. So I've been getting a lot of requests to basically do a video about what type of seed starting mix should people use for their seed starts and that's kind of why I'm making this video. There's a few important things that we're going to compare in these two seed starting mixes. Guys I'm going to bring you in close so you can see what I'm doing and we're going to get into this comparison. All right guys so before we get into actually comparing the seed starting mixes we're going to go over what's actually in these mixes and we're going to compare the two. So the miracle Grow seed starting potting mix, we're gonna see specially formulated for fast root development, enriched with miracle Grow plant food. Fertilizer or plant food is not really necessary when seed starting, keep that in mind. A lot of these you are gonna see fertilizer or burpee plant food, something like that. It's not terrible or bad per se to have that in your seed starting mix, but do note, definitely not necessary. You do not have to fertilize or have fertilizer in your seed starting mix. The ingredients on the miracle Grow. this is going to say this product is formulated with sphagnum peat moss, perlite, and fertilizer. The main ingredient to most seed starting mixes is either going to be peat moss, coconut coir, or the, or usually a combination of the two. The primary ingredient on the miracle Grow is going to be the sphagnum peat moss. The reason I don't like using sphagnum peat moss as opposed to coconut coir is peat moss is not a renewable resource. For every year's worth of peat moss harvested from peat bogs, it takes about 15 years for it to grow back. So that's one reason I'm not a huge fan of using peat moss. It'll get the job done, but I prefer coconut coir when possible. Now comparing the burpee seed starting mix, so we're gonna see on here burpee organic seed starting mix enriched with burpee plant food for better results. This is going to be made from coconut coir. And then also note on these two, this is an eight quart bag and then this is 12 quarts. You're basically getting a third more for about the same price. So that's one big plus there. And again, note that this is going to be made from coconut coir. Coconut coir is a renewable resource for those of you guys that don't know. It's basically just the husk and shavings from coconut, so totally renewable resource. Again, this has burpee plant food. Not really necessary. It's not going to be harmful per se. Also, both of these are going to have perlite in them. I'm not sure that it says anywhere actually on the ingredients. That's basically just those little white expanded volcanic rocks, and we'll get into that a little bit more later in the video. And then the other positive thing to note about the burpee this is organic as gardeners we always want to be organic when possible some of us are totally organic some of us are just partially organic if we ever have the opportunity to be organic we should definitely do so so just from an ingredient standpoint not even getting in uh, feeling or looking at the soils yet the burpee mix in my opinion has the advantage just from an ingredient standpoint again this is made from coconut coir which is a renewable resource peat moss is not this mix is organic that mix is not and then this is an eight quart bag versus a 12 quart so just from an ingredient standpoint i would say burpee definitely has the advantage there and again these are both the same price now i actually have bowls of each of these this bigger bowl here is the burpee this littler bowl here is miracle grow we're going to compare the two you can tell a lot about soil or a seed starting mix just by the look and feel of it this is the burpee mix we can tell just by looking at it these little white things in here again that is perlite we do want to have that in our seed starting mix if you just use coconut coir but it is eventually going to compact that perlite basically just helps prevent the coconut coir from compacting and we don't want it to compact and the reason we don't want it to compact is because we want this to be extremely well draining and we want this to be extremely loose and fluffy if we take that put it in our hand and squeeze it it feels like a sponge um, and that's really what we want. We want it to be able to absorb moisture, but at the same time, we want it to be loose 
and able to drain. And you know, the nice thing about having a mix that has this nice spongy texture to it, it actually makes it really difficult to overwater. For mine, I usually end up watering them anywhere from two to three times a week. It just depends on how far along they are. And just looking through this mix, I mean, there's not really anything unwanted in this mix. We've got a little bit like that's coconut husk right there. There's a few very small wood chips, but overall it's a pretty good looking mix. So just from a visual and touch and feel standpoint, this is a really good looking and feeling mix. This would do a really good job of providing proper drainage, absorbing moisture. Overall, I do like the look and feel of this mix. Now we're going to look at the miracle Grow mix. And again, I forgot to mention to you guys, totally unbiased. I've used both of these brands of products before. I don't really use a whole lot of store-bought stuff when I garden. I try and make everything on my own and use as little store-bought stuff as possible. But I have used both of these before. So kind of the same things we want to pay attention to when we're checking out this mix. We can see there are little bits of perlite in there. That's going to help prevent our clumping. Same thing. We want to take it, kind of ball it in our hand. It doesn't feel quite as spongy as the Burpee does. It still feels good. Definitely, definitely still feels good. Don't get me wrong. Still nice and loose and crumbly. And same thing, not really a whole lot of unwanted stuff in this mix. Again, a few small wood chips here and there, but nothing major. So overall, just from a visual and feel comparison, I would say these two are both pretty comparable. One not really better than the other, other than the burpee having a little bit more of a spongy feel to it. All right, guys, so now that we've done that, I'm going to move these out of the way, and I've got just two little lettuce starts here, and we'll just do a quick comparison on the two of these. All right, guys, so when I grew these to compare the two mixes, I tried to do everything as equal and as impartial as possible. I threw down the same amount of seeds in each cup, throwing everything equal, exactly the same. Comparing the two lettuce starts here, they're really pretty much about the same. The miracle Grow looks like the starts are maybe just a touch bigger if we take a good look at them versus the Burpee. They both look really good, really healthy. I would say just the miracle Grow slightly bigger. And that's really the biggest things that we want to compare when we're looking at seed starting mixes. Most seed starting mixes that you see at the store are going to do the job just fine. They're going to get your starts off on the right track. Seed starting does not have to be super complicating. Don't overdo it, guys. Keep it simple. Keep it easy. If you don't want to make your own mix, just go get one of these bags. Now, picking a winner between these two as far as which one I think would be the best mix. I definitely am gonna go with the Burpee. The biggest things that I like about the Burpee better than the miracle Grow. I like that this is organic. For these both being the same price, big win for this being organic as opposed to this not. The other thing that I like is 12 quarts versus eight quarts. Again, at the same price point, um, it only makes sense. This is a third the times bigger. And then the other thing that I really like is I like that this is made from coconut coir. And again, peat moss not a renewable resource coconut coir is a renewable resource so overall i like the burpee way way better and i will also post links for you guys to both of these these are both available on amazon if you guys do want to check them out and get some ideas on seed starting mixes these are usually available at your local big box stores meyer walmart lowe's that kind of thing and they should be fairly inexpensive but again i will post links to amazon if you guys do want to check these out and compare them again don't overcomplicate seed starting if you guys want to see me do a complete how-to on seed starting going over lighting watering everything let let me know down in the comment section below if you guys want to see that. Also, I want you guys to comment down below what mixes you have used in the past. Have you used the ones from the store? Have you made your own mixes? If you did make your own mix, what did you use it out of? I want to hear what you guys have to say about seed starting mixes. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section down below for sure. And again, guys, this is my YouTube channel, The Bravo Six Gardener. If you guys ended up liking this video, would super appreciate a thumbs up. Also, if you guys want to see more how-tos, tips, tutorials on gardening, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next episode that I post. And I almost forgot, bonus tip for seed starting. All right, guys, so time for our bonus tip. So this is my seed starting setup down here. We've got our lettuce, I've got some basil, tomatoes, peppers. My tip for you guys 
is use a fan when you're starting seeds. This is something that a lot of people don't do and it actually is very beneficial. It helps with the acclimation process and it also helps strengthen the base of your plants. So we can see we've got a little bit of movement on our uh, tomatoes there. It's gonna help strengthen the base of your plants. And again, it's just gonna help with that acclimation process. I usually do anywhere from one to three hours a day. Again, just to get a little bit of movement going. And that's my quick bonus tip for you guys. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Bye.